Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm going to tell you the wee variant of the Solwick. Now the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 10. Uh, 10s, 12s, 14s, it just depends where you're going to fish the, the wee dressing on the cast. And then the thread I'm going to use is the Uni Thread 801 Black. So just come in, a couple of mil behind the other hook. Just get our thread started. Remove the waist tag of thread. The tail's just some ginger cockhackle fibers. I just want this, the tail, sorry, just the length of the shank, but you can tie it as long or short as you like. It's up to you. Way the waist. The rib is going to be a, an extra small oval gold tinsel. This is unique. So just catch it on this side. Or on your side, I should say. The body, the, it's the rear half, half of the body, sorry, it's going to be a uni meter, silver and gold. Catch this in and then just work your thread forward. Now you sort of way want it half and half. It doesn't have to be exact. But you want to try and keep the the rear half of your body as smooth as you can just because of the tinsel. If there's lumps you'll you'll notice it. it in from way the waist and then just work your thread forward stand on the cutting ends up here you curly as away lumps you want to dub it <laughs> now the dubbing that I'm using is the traditional Irish dubbing bright red but really any bright red dubbing that you have will work even a chopped up number four glue bright floss will be nice. Right, just gonna get another retouch, wee bit short. And just bring your thread in front. Now the body haggle. Just look at a nice ginger cock haggle. Sit, catch it in, gonna fold it back. Right, we're gonna palmer. So I always this is just me, my own personal preference. I like to get two turns at the shoulder of the fly and then three turns down the body. Now as the name suggests, maybe some of you have already twigged on the saw work is basically a half soldier palmer and a half wingless workham's fancy we'll just catch in the rib there just trim this way just come in with a Velcro. So I was going to say there to finish this dressing off the original, just put a ginger cock haggle on the front, and that's the original, the original dressing. And believe you me, that works as well. This works too. So I like to put on a dyed fairy brown English partridge haggle at the front. Now this is a good wee dressing all year round, but it's particularly good uh, during hatches of sage 
on the locks. So I'm going to fold back the tip, work the thread back up, break away the tip, and then we'll just come in with the argle pliers just to help you to see what I'm doing instead of getting my fingers constantly in the shot. Two turns is plenty. Follow this around with my thread. Nice and tight. I think this is thin enough it is that I can fold it back. And then work my thread back up. Break away the stem. And then what I like to do here now guys is put on two jungle cock eyes. However, I know how expensive these are. Especially if you're you're new you're new to the fly dressing, so just leave them off. You will eventually, if you're new to fly tying, you will eventually buy jungle cock. That's just you you building your kit up. But until you fully take to it, I would suggest leaving them off because they are have got very very expensive. Now I'm just going to come around with a couple of turns just to see what way I'm sitting with both eyes. So we check. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to put on a wee lick of wax. Take another turn, then I'm going to come in and fold everything back nice and tight. And the reason why I like to do this, guys, is because if you don't, they will pull out, they will come out, even though you're going to super glue the head by folding them back, it just helps though. The wee fly to last. Now, when you break the stems, you gotta keep your thread nice and tight. Sometimes that will happen too. Just have to trim that away. There, so we check. didn't want to break off cleanly a better pair of scissors actually they're the old pair it's better And then what we can do is just build up the head at this point. I know there's a wee bit of faffing about there when you fold them back, especially when they're that small, but honestly the fly will last a hell of a lot longer when you when you fold it back. And then we'll just put in a whip finish. Gonna put a bit of shape under the head just as a finish off. Put the thread tight. Come on and trim away the, the tiny thread. Now before we varnish, just take off any if you use wax, just take off any excess wax that will be on the thread. There you go guys, that's the the saw wick. So, as I explained, some of the dressing from the soldier palmer and some from basically wingless wickham's. So, use super glue, just you're better getting the glue into the eye of the hook rather than 
taking it too close to your your dressing. You don't want to ruin all your work. And then just clean the eye. Just make sure everything's nice and tidy to the best I can. And then make sure the eye is clean. It's probably the most important part. So there you go guys. It's a great wee pattern that it really is. Especially during a wee hatch of a wee hatch of sage. But if you don't have the fairy brown um English partridge dyed fairy brown, sorry, or the jungle cock, just honestly, just put on the another ginger cock cackle at the front. So there you go guys. As always, thanks for many thanks for watching and uh, all being well. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.